It's Six Sense. Six Sense, Nikki Six. I'm with Jen. What's up, Jen? Hi, Nikki. We're here with Ozzy. Hey, Ozzy. Hi, Nikki. Zach. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. That's the best one so far. Hey, guys, what's happening? Good Welcome to see to you. Oh, you. Again, it's been a long time. It's, it's been, been a couple of years. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, we lived in this same neighborhood for a while. And, that, uh, was bad, that was bad. That was bad. That was that was that was a bad <laughs> yeah, idea. Have lasted. <laughs> well, we had gone from snorting ants and doing other weird mm-hmm. things in the early '80s to living in the same neighborhood. And my my daughter, who was maybe nine, was selling lemonade. So I'm out there with her, and then Ozzy pulls up. And I guess you just got your driver's license yeah, around the time. Uh, gone. No, are you done yeah, with you that? You know what happens? <laughs> I'm going now. Got, we bought got, lemonade. Got oh. dr- got drunk. And I come back, and the funny thing happens to me when I bought a Ferrari and it disappeared. <laughs> You won't have enough. You, 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 oh, oh. I, went in, I went in to buy uh, a Ferrari, you know, at that Ferrari yeah, dealership yeah, yeah. right there. And I went in and I go, I really, you know, I really like this this one. And they go, oh, yeah, Ozzy bought that one, but he drove it into his garage. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, great, that's the one I want then. <laughs> it's like even, even the stories go to car dealerships. <laughs> so what's going on? You, uh, we're gonna, Oz Fest meets do... Not Fest. Yeah, 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 we're doing that. We're, 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 When's that? That's coming up pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No uh, doubt. Is it twenty-one We're years? Over right twenty now. years of Ozfest. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Twenty-one years. Twenty. Yeah, years. that was like a groundbreaking thing. Well, how it happened was Sharon tried to get me on uh, Lollapalooza, and I said. That music's dead. It's over. So Sharon said, "Screw you. We do our own." <laughs> now that's not what they said. They said, "We don't like you." <laughs> You're That's not allowed on Lollapalooza is probably what, what really happened. We're like, okay. I'm playing Lollapalooza now. Yeah. <laughs> and those fish. So this year you have Prophets of Rage, Deftones, Manson, Zombie, Stone Sour. Who else are we missing? Oh, I got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Backstreet Boys. Oh my God, everybody's going to be there. Yes, I it'll assume be packed. you're going to do a spot with the Backstreet Boys. Yes, I jump am. Jump on in. I actually coordinate all the dances. Uh, well, I mean, I knew that in the past. I've seen the videos. I can see it in the way they move. Not a doubt. Yeah, a little stiff. You could loosen it. Not a doubt. But... <laughs> hey, the music business isn't what it used to be. You have to do a lot of other things. <laughs> a lot of other things. And I'm, aside of that, I have passion for dance. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys had a pop-up store, right, last month? Yeah. We did it like a week ago, I think. But we got there. It was so hot. And it took us too, so long to get there. We went, thanks for coming. Got back in the car. I went back home. That was it. How long did it take you to get home? Two hours, two and a half hours. All right. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> what was there? Lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> what did you sell at the pop up store, though? Oh, I don't know. They were selling t shirts and merchandise, just black, black, uh, um, e shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't know about it, though. <laughs> right. Growth hormones, steroids, powerlifting secrets. Yeah. <laughs> the usual. Do you really power lift? What's that, brother? Do you really power lift? Um, a little bit. I just fondle my genitals. <laughs> That's enough power. <laughs> I was for doing. Me. I was doing deadlifts, and I gave myself a hernia. And I was like, "Fuck!" I just had a triple hernia surgery. Did you? I, I, yes. I'm, what is it? It was, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'll tell you why I'm not. It's a good time. I went in. I uh, had the first surgery done, and then uh, it's painful in there. The net. Well, you can't, you know, the best, the best is this. It's just, you know, the guy's like, it, well, I couldn't, you can't operate the machinery for a little bit. But oh, I remember that. Nothing was going to hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> and Barb was out with the, you know, dropping the kids off at school, alone to the house with uh, a couple jars of smuckers. <laughs> I had to take care of business. But uh, yeah, I re-injured myself. <laughs> so, uh, I had to get you, ready for the big. Oh, and that's Oz why you Fest had to get stage. another yeah. one. <laughs> we had some more shows coming up, so I had to get ready for those. So I, I was that. touring with Motley with the uh, the hernia, and it was like towards the end of the set, I'd like start to see stars, and I remember I'd had my knee done and that, and I was like, "What the hell's happening?" Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> it realize get I, was better. In a, I was in a contact sport. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's music. I just want to play music. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. totally. <laughs> they didn't realize it was a steel cage match. <laughs> no, that's like that. marriage. <laughs> I mean, how is it? How is it, Ozzy, for you after all these years? I'm 58, and I'm like starting. I'm to, 69. You're 69. Yeah. 
fuck. No, 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 no. Um, why am I... Bleeding? I mean, you, your voice sounds as strong as it's ever sounded. I saw well, you live. it's... Um, I have to do the best shape. I can. I, I, I don't... Not drinking and not doing all that stuff. I don't smoke, drink, do, do you know, do dope. Yeah. I, I and, how, and, uh, and how that... Uh, that alone was... Uh, this, this is this is a way a while ago oz quit doing everything at one point and this is when we were staying at the house me and barb so Oz, the girls went out mom and barb they went out to the movies or they went out somewhere and me and oz are just sitting there and oz goes he has a cup of tea and he goes look i said what's up oz he goes look at me he <laughs> goes i don't drink i don't do drugs I quit smoking. I never thought I'd do that. <laughs> I don't even drink coffee anymore. And he goes, I go, oh. And he goes, Zach, what else? Why am I alive? <laughs> and then I go, it does feel I, like that, though, And then sometimes. I go, but, I mean, <laughs> but you know what? I like it. I mean, I know what's going to happen if I start that again. I'll be wake up covered in piss and puke yeah. on my own somewhere, you know. Cause That's I, a good time. <laughs> and I mean, so... I, I can sit here uh, and I go, oh, a glass of wine will be good. Next thing I know, I'm waking up somewhere where I didn't intend to be. Yeah. In in a bad state. Cause I can't stop. I mean, it's it, you know, about that switch from fun to like necessity. Yeah. I <laughs> remember. I remember the one time we were playing. You remember? You know where Pops was in St. Louis? You go over the bridge. Uh, I don't know. All right. Well, it, there's a, there was a club there, a strip club, and a whole nine yards. Right. This is. This had to be no rest for the wicked at the time. I remember Tony Mann and BT were sitting there. I'm with. I'm just trying to picture this happening nowadays. Me and Oz end up going over the bridge. We get in a. Ozzy's like Zach. Let's, I want to go out. So it was just like we end up going out. We're in this club. We sit in with the house band. We play Crazy Train. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing Crazy Train with this house band. We leave that club. Go to somebody's house, <laughs> and we're there, and they got Ozzy Osbourne hanging out in their house. <laughs> Between the amount of blow that was in this house, the booze, the weed, and I'm sitting there hanging out, and I'm going, dude. And you don't know these this, people, right? But, no, no, we don't right. know these people yeah. at all. And I'm sitting there, and we had a show the next day. Yeah. So all I remember is we were leaving the hotel at like 10 in the morning. The sun was coming up, and oh, I'm yeah. like, bro. I don't know who you are, that but you got to get us back to the hotel. Because I'm picturing BT just like destroying us and and the boss, Maz, you know, so like going, where, where is he? You know what I mean? And I'm just like, because <laughs> we had to do the gig the next day, but I'm just picturing Ozzy sitting there hanging around holding court with these people in the kitchen <laughs> and I'm hanging out with these and the sun's coming up. I'm going, this is really not good. I, this is not good. But you know what? Imagine nowadays with, with these things. Like you'd be like be like FaceTime living like oh, with you yeah. in their house, you know what I mean? Or Snapchatting, you'd have bunny I mean, ears. I, 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 I had a thing that on my right, I had my bedroom in any every hotel, black and then just on these last two show and goes, darling, you still have to have the black windows. You don't do you don't do all that shit anymore. Black. It was like, if I saw yeah. daylight, I'd fucking shrivel up. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. So no. I, it still was on the right in that for till about three months. I, I don't I don't really ever think about drugs or alcohol no. for some reason. I don't know. I just I went over a line because I went back. I was sober. <laughs> I got was sober for like uh, six years, and then I th I thought it would be a great idea to go out and and try Jägermeister. Oh yeah, but it's uh, thirty six shots. I don't know why I picked. That was a bad idea, and uh, I woke up in a hotel covered in piss and shit and stuff and it got back on but it took me a couple times but that oh, happens I've been like a fiddler's elbow I mean, I've got, now I'm coming up on five years five years that's great I don't want it you know, it's pretty bad the way it is it only get worse yeah sometimes it's bad you know yeah but that's life I so mean, on touring like that all those years with Motley I, I don't know how I don't know I don't how, know how, how we, we did it I how did we how do we that that was fun <laughs> it was fun for, the, for a while it was fun but then when you cross that invisible line, you know, like, oh, for fuck. It's the invisible line. That's what I call it. You had the invisible line. Yeah, or was well, it you invisible? Just, you just grind it into the ground until you have a good time. And then, you know, I put it this way. You're in the car, and then when the wheels fall off, you keep going. <laughs> and then <laughs> there's right. sparks flying off the thing, and then you're just on the rims. And then when the rims are gone, and it's just the axle, and then a police officer comes up to the side of the car and goes, walks up to the side of the car and goes... <laughs> 
you can get out of the car now. <laughs> that's pretty much when you know it's over. Yeah, it's over. But until then, have a good time, and that's about it. Yeah. Because no, they asked me, they were like, exactly, you think you would like to go talk to some of these kids and read? Well, and well, I go and tell go them what? One day, I wake up in a fucking jail in England, and I'm going, why the fuck am I here? What have I done? So I said to the, the cop, I says, why am I here? And he goes, oh, why are you here? I mean, I'll read you your charge seat. John Michael has been arrested for attempting murder. I'm like, what? Who did I try and kill? Your wife. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fucking hell. I'm... I mean, it's funny now. It's not funny then. No, it was not funny. Yeah. But I, I never believed in the blackouts. I thought it was just a scare tactic. But I started to have them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's so good to see you and see Did you guys you... back together, too. Yeah, fine. Yeah, can I can I ask what happened? I actually don't know what happened. Why you guys were you weren't in uh, with Ozzy for a while? No, he was just uh, with the drinking, and then one that was no problem. So once I started doing steroids and growth hormone, Oz was just like, I gotta draw the line somewhere. <laughs> were you like really <laughs> angry it. and aggressive around that with the alcohol? With, oh no, I I I don't know why uh, things got changed. I was cleaning the house and doing a dog run for Oz. I would do it about five times. My productivity was through the roof. Yeah. I have no idea. No, but uh, no, at that point, I mean, Oz wanted to jam with some other people. I mean, at that time, it was just, yeah. and Oz was just people like, been saying, jam with people have been saying to me for years, when are you ever going to get back with Zach? Yeah. If, if the powers of B one, I'm there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, it's, it means, it's, I mean, Zach and I are like family, you know. Yeah, for sure. I see that. Our fans see that. And I think after the Sabbath thing, it, was, it was just guy, perfect. I mean, he's smoking now. He's fucking, he's up like, I'm like, I'm, I'm on stage of the night. It's actually not me paying. It's the money that I've been saving on the side for cleaning the house and everything. I've got behind <laughs> the amp playing all the time anyways. You have but, a young uh, guy with a sweater. Yes. Playing. And he also sleeps with Barb as well. That's why she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, she's glowing right now. <laughs> so I see that um, Ozzy and Jack's world tour is, it's been renewed for it's, a second season. How it's cool. It's really good. We're good. This, I mean, last, uh, last year was okay. This uh, year is really, really fun. What's the difference? Well, I was doing this Black Sabbath, and in the breaks, yeah. I was doing Jack. This, I was trying to get injured, and so I was laying back, holding back a bit. But this one was just free to free run. It was good fun. Can you talk about the uh, the dogs? Oh yeah, we went to this um the, towards the end of this. We started up in Florida Key, Key West, and ended up in uh, uh, Alaska. We went to this slide, you know, like that Yukon race, a thousand miles. We went to the place they train the dogs. It was fucking great. Fantastic! There's like seventeen dogs, and they were trained on this sleigh with wheels, and it's, yeah. got, it's just amazing, you know. Good fun. How fun! And beautiful, beautiful. Do you think that when you did, um, you, I mean, you, I would think that you're like you were the first to do any version of reality. When you think, oh so? yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But it's not reality now; it's scripted reality. It's scripted, of course. Yeah. But I remember but, when I started doing that show, we were like, I remember I was like. Guess what I'm doing now? And we were like, what are you doing? He goes, this is like TV show. I, I asked Oz, I go, because I always tell everybody just hanging around Ozzy's, if you're watching TV, like I'm just saying, just taking the piss out of himself and taking the mm -hmm. piss out of anything we're watching on TV. I said, you got to have a set of depends on just because you'd be crying laughing. But so I just figured... I was like, Oz, well, what are you doing? Like comedy skits and everything like that? Because he's hysterical, <laughs> right? So he just goes, no. And Ozzy was like, no, they just like follow me around. Like if I take a piss, I, I take a what, crap. I, and he goes, this will be on for about, Zach, he goes, give it about two weeks. This thing will be on and that'll be the end of it. He goes, who the hell wants to watch this? This is terrible. Right. And then next thing you know, here we were four years later. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Having a camera crew in your house 24-7 you feel like a fucking experiment at the radio. You, you forget uh, they're there at any point? Get this, you get this, I can go into a room now and, and I, feel, I can forget, get this feeling, you know. And yeah. I said to the guy one day, I said, hey, this is driving me fucking nuts. I've got to have a safe room where I can go and scratch my ass without being on TV. Yeah. And so he goes, pick your own, I'll go in that one. So I'll go in there one day and I get this fucking weird feeling, you know. I go, what, what, what is this? And I, I, I look in the corner, there's a camera on, uh, uh, hidden on the wall, and I go, I oh, thought no. you said this was a safe room. So we, we wanted to know where you were at all times. So I said, you know where I am. Yeah. You pick the room out. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. Said, well, and why is the mic next to the fucking camera? It's, 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 we pulled the plug because we started to run out of ideas, you know, and plus yeah. the fact that it became, it was my own house, and I, I didn't feel safe. Right. So it was the Russians. We got rid of the house. It was the Russians. Those it was the Russians. It was the Russians. <laughs> but... 
Like, do you think that kind of like set you up for doing like like this? Because like you you understood like kind of how it all works. Well, and what you, it started, and you set up well, something you love. No, it's 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 um, it was like uh, cribs. Yeah, it was the, we did a thing the cribs thing, and it was requested up more. And people would phone in, write in, can we see that one again? And so the guy said. Why don't you do an ex- extended version of the crib? So for it just went like a brush fire. It just yeah. took off. How much? Tra- I, I mean, people said you regret it. Now nah, it's a part of the journey, you know. It's like it was. It, at the beginning, it was fun, but it gets old very quick, very quick. How long? How long do you film for? Because you have to do twenty four seven. Well, what about but when you're on, going to be on tour? Oh, uh, oh but you mean Jack? You know, I thought you were yeah, me. yeah. Oh, Jack. I've I've uh, I've finished that this season now. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so what's that take? A few months to oh, do? Oh yeah, yeah. And then you're and we you do, can we go do tour. like three locations a week. Yeah, yeah. It was it was um, a lot of traveling. Oh yeah, it was, it was good fun though. I mean, yeah. you know, my son's great to work with. He's really, you know he's, he's very mellow. You know, until he gets pissed off. Uh, it's gonna be fun to work with your son. And you've always yeah, said so many great things. But there's times that it ain't fun, and you go. When, when, when he's texting, he's trying to drive the car. I go, you fucking driving on text. Well, you know, people get killed and that stuff. Yeah, and I can't fucking work. I'm still fighting and fathom it out. We can get on a phone now. Yeah, yeah. What's uh, what's like one of your favorite of of this uh, new season coming up? One of your pl- favorite places well, it's you just, went? It's, it's more. It's, it's a, the first season was okay, but this is more relaxed and for you, I like to have humor with it. You know, mm-hmm. laugh at yourself. Yeah. Uh, there's one side when the albums are I'm going, where are my fucking glasses? And I couldn't really find them, Jack goes, they're on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I go, wow. I didn't realize that I already bought them on. That happens. <laughs> do, you know, where, do you do that? You go, where's the phone? Go, oh, yeah, totally. You you're, ta- you're talking on it. Oh, where's the phone? But, you oh, know, yeah, yeah, and you're talking on it. Yeah. Um, what's I going to ask you? Just it's just good to see you in here. I mean, um, twenty one years of the Ozfest that kind of blows my mind because I remember, well, I remember when that happened. And it, I mean, it was just an accident. Sharon. Most of the things that happened to me are accidental. Shannon, we'll do this for one. See what happens. <laughs> Took off, and there's so many bands come off the Ozfest. Yeah, I mean, they they we all look at that as a cool festival to do. That was like the the best thing. You know, we all like play these shows, and you're like, not really my like I don't feel attached to it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then like this is one where any artist ever comes in here, or even you know, I remember meeting with Sharon about mm-hmm. Molly doing it, and then we did that that one together mm-hmm. uh, with Rob, with Rob Halford. Um, but it's just like it's a cool thing. I'm just happy to see it's still going on. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, when you think it's a long time, twenty or twenty one years. It's longer than most bands' careers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the festival career. Forty nine so. years I've been doing what I do. Time is like flown by. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can you believe totally. it? Well, yeah, it's been thirty years since I was in a band. So you, 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 you were the longest player thirty years ever. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so, wait, when Lemmy passed away last year, that, that really hurt me. Yeah, that was hard. It was, you know, I, I, we have a Lemmy stage on the other. I don't know if it's still. I, I was just, I was just telling Oz the other day. Oz goes like this. He goes, "Sack." I've been doing this for you know so long. And I go, well, look at it this way, Oz. It's just hanging there long enough. Every year, best male vocalist. <laughs> best <laughs> for everything. I go, because they'll have no one left no one to left. vote for. And I will go, it's like I haven't recorded an album in 12 years. <laughs> you know, I'm that. If I've been just I'm going to do another album. I wouldn't take me too long, but it's, I mean, I built my, I've got my own studio <laughs> stuff and everything, but it's, it's just, you get them putting it out. Well, I remember the hit, the but Zach, I haven't recorded in 12 years. I haven't toured in 15 years. How am I still winning all these awards? <laughs> <laughs> There's no one left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember the the Hidden Hills house, and I went over there, and I get the whole studio yeah. downstairs. Well, you make sure you, when you got it in your house, you go, "I'll fucking leave it in there." You got to go out, out go, go out. You get house. more done. You don't get more done. You, you, out of your house, you get more done. No, you don't think it's so. Convenient. You don't go. Oh, you know the clock's ticking. You know, yeah. I mean, like you said, I, I I mean I have the studio, you know, the Black Vatican, right? So we have the studio up there. I mean, like you know how how they always say with Prince. 
Like he was recording all the time yeah. with Hendrix. You know, I mean, it was just like he loved, you know, Jimmy would just always have getting hammered, having friends down, and he would record all the time. I mean, it was just riffs or whatever. Yeah. I mean, like, because people are always asking me, they're like, dude, do you record in there all the time? I'm like, no. It just almost kind of like us. Like after, after you did a Sabbath record, opposite, you'd wait. The, and, the fact because you know it's always there. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll remember that. I'll be, yeah, oh, it's, like when you, it's like when you buy your own exercise equipment. You know that it's there, and you just look at it and put clothes on it. I got Whoa. the best gym in my garage. Do you use it? I've never used it. <laughs> I go to the gym. I go get in my car, which is parked next to my. My gym, <laughs> and I go to the gym, and every day I go, what's fucking wrong with me? <laughs> it's too close. Yeah, it's the same with the studio. All the guy guys, I couldn't even turn the fucking light on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but mind you. Mr. Buffing me the fucking wires and things. But mind you, it does save you a, a bit of coin, because I, I remember me and me and Nikki were just talking about, uh, like, what the budgets were during like i remember when you had when you had the studio when we were recording the first album down in, in your studio i go oz could you imagine how much money you would have saved from the first sabbath album yeah but we, 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 no because the budgets were so ridiculous when stupid. you're making these records i mean it's just like where you go oh come on man yeah i mean i'm just there's saying. a million dollar budget for a record and, yeah, you, yeah. and you go over budget but well, you know now what when you make me? a record what got me with the videos you paid for six Six million dollars for a fucking video. Yeah. Three and a half minutes long. Now it's but like... But some great effect. Yeah, five <laughs> this rare effect. Yeah. <laughs> it's called... <laughs> <shh -tink. laughs> <laughs> I know, because I just did a video with Wayne Isham, yep. who we all use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. least... Is he still around? He's still around. At least 200,000 plus to make a video, right? Got, the video was 10 plan. grand. <laughs> Same no, video. And, and it would have been... And like you said, we were just talking about if the... If the budget's that big, you're going to spend that much oh, money. Oh, absolutely. But if the budget, if I only give you five grand, you're well, like, we'll Isaac, we'll make it work. Uh, what was that one song that they, they, they got that fucking... We, and I, that's just, no, we did Mom, I'm Coming Home. They did two videos for it. And then one was, remember, where it just 50 kept going. 50 grand, two, and then it was fucking... I think it was 100 grand for the first one, and then the one that they ended up using was something like 10 grand or something. You know, the, the black right, and right. white one. I just said, do it, you know? Yeah. I mean, the guy's walking up to the office side of a fucking pig. What's that got some mom coming home? What was it like back in like the very like first Sabbath album? Like you, there's videos of you guys. Well, we, uh, Why did you make videos? I remember because we've been playing the first album live for, for we'd write a song and then we'd incorporate. We started with a jazz blues thing. Yeah, we kind of spun off that. If you listen to the album on side two, it's just a jam, you know, really. Right. We, we got the guy says we'd never been in a recording studio, so we, we went down to this place, Region Sound. Go in, two four track machines. Bounce, I don't know what the fuck, bouncing ones or the other. Uh-huh. For like, not three or four, two days or whatever, it was done. Yeah. He said, the manager said, just stop off on the way to the ferry because we were doing star, star uh, gigs in the, the Star Club in Hamburg. Yeah. But it, it was, it, I mean, we thought, hey, we just made a record. We didn't realize it. Then as it went on, we got more more tracks, more better equipment, we got spent more time. Yeah. That's the funny because when you got like 16 tracks and you don't know what you're doing, you just use 16 tracks because you think it makes it sound bigger, but it doesn't. Not always. People, people always say, you know, like with, with the Beatles, like Sgt. Peppers. Yeah. And with Hendrix, you know what I mean? Like, because people always say, tracks? man, could you imagine if they had all this gear and Pro Tools and this and that? I go, those records wouldn't have been what they were then. Mm -hmm. No, they wouldn't have because the whole thing is like we were talking about with crayons. You only have five crayons. Let's see what you can do. But if I. If, like that's what I'm saying. So you have to be creative because you got to go. If you mix a couple crayons together, you get a different color. So the whole thing is, you really have to use your imagination if you only have limited amount of stuff. Yeah. Because when you have, and not only that, I mean, probably if Hendrix and the Beatles would have had everything now with Pro Tools and everything, just because you have it all doesn't mean you have to use it. No, yeah. you're right. Yeah. You right. know. So it just makes you lazy because you can bounce. You know, of course, bouncing. It's, it's somewhat. The life, the life goes out of it, I think. It's yeah. clever. I, mean, I remember, um, I remember with Mick Mars, we were doing something and like the Digi Design just came out with like, it was a two track thing. Remember it was just two tracks yeah. in the beginning? And uh, the guy was showing me some stuff and Mick's like, there's no way. There's no way. I, I play from beginning to end. Uh, my take, I'm done. I'm going to go drink. And then like later, I remember we were in the studio, no fault to Mick, 
me too. I've done it too. I'd be like, hey, that part's great. Just pop that in the second chorus. And I was like, oh, no. I, I said it. I, I, we didn't know we, uh, what was it, Michael Byrne on. Yeah, Mike. Oh, and uh, I'll go, uh, it sends me a track on And I go, I, I never sung it that way. And I, did I sing it that way? I couldn't, I finally said, Michael, is it possible to change the melody? And he goes, yeah. I said, did you do it on that one song? He goes, yeah. I, I didn't fucking want it to sound like that. But I, 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 I wanted it to sound like that. Yeah. Well, sang it like that. Yeah. Is it? I mean, I can do all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it is. But that's one of my favorite albums. I mean, though. for mixing and everything like that with Pro Tools and everything like that, the whole thing is, I mean, think about it. I was with, with this, all the Sabbath records and everything like that and, and Molly records in the beginning. You'd, we'd all be mixing at the console if Together. you had a 24 track. So like, like us, you go, Zach, remember at the end to put that delay on the end of the thing, you know, so we get all the way to the end of the song, and if I didn't do that, then we got to do it again. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the whole thing is, when we're drinking, I mean, there is a happened. certain magic that goes to the, when you listen to those records, but yeah. I mean, nowadays, I, I'm, you, you still have to have creative people, and you still have to have talented people making people the records. Make I don't know, a lot, a lot of people are going to make Because them. think about it. When you had when you had Elvis and Chuck Berry and and Jerry Lee Lewis and all those guys making the records at Sun Studios, they're actually around one microphone mm. and we're recording them, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas by the time Cream, Sabbath, and Zeppelin and everything started, and Hendrix and everything, like, and the Beatles started coming around, and the Stones, those guys must have been going, look at these spoiled little punks with all these like. Eight, two, two, four tracks stuck together. You know, I mean, like, we never had that stuff back in the day. And then, you know, I'm just saying every generation says yeah. that about the previous generation yeah. that was coming along. Well, Frank Sinatra's so, overdoing was fucking should be banned. Yeah, yeah. It, it was he in them days, just to go have the band and him doing it live in the studio. Yeah, that's the best. It's always the best. That's, that's when the band sounds the best. Performance. But, but, but this, saying, when it's like this Pro Tool, it sounds too perfect. Yeah, you, know, you have to force yourself to treat it like tape. Yeah, that's that's what I've learned. I treat it like tape. I go, yeah, I mean, I, this is a track on a tape machine, and I've only got so many tracks, and then I make the song around that. You, see, you can never re re reproduce it without doing trickery on stage. A lot of a lot, a lot of people now don't play live. You're right. I was yeah, I was that. doing a, I was doing a thing. We we were touring with that chick band. What was it called? Um. Vixen, remember them, Vixen? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm watching them right now, and, I know, and the harmonies are fucking great, you know. And I go, wow. I'll cross the stage next time, and I go, oh, I, I slipped on their keyboard, you oh, oh. I'm like, what? They live in a box. No, I mean, a lot of bands, I mean, but you know what, though? I mean, a lot of the albums that are made, I mean, where it's it's super tight like that, I mean, there's an art to that as well. There is, like you know, pop so, music. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like with, with sure. Oz, when I've... Miracle Man and everything when I first joined the band, that's just me playing the guitar and then I doubled my guitar. Yeah. And that's just two takes and whatever yeah. how long it takes. I mean, just knock it out and it's and it's over and it's done with. Yeah. But I mean, uh but if you if you want it cut precision tight, I mean there's a certain sound to that. So I mean it there is no right and no wrong no, and, no and wrong. whatever. Because you still have to be it's what you, you like. still have to play. You just have to do what you like. Yeah, it's, it, if you like the sound of it, then that's what you like. You know, so yeah. I, I to me it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, you know, because like I said, it doesn't matter what the technology is, the Beatles are still going to be creative and they're still going to come up with Sgt. Pepper's regardless whether it's Pro Tools or they have two four-track machines. Some of, it, some of it is too pure, though. It's, you know, rock and roll music is not... It's supposed to be wrong. Yeah, way. no, no, I agree. I mean, like when you listen to things that are out of tune or whatever, you know, or, or just like so slightly out of tune know, or whatever. So to me, you know, this, this uh, B side of, uh, of the first album, that one, out of tune, and I go, yeah, it still sells. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's what uh, people don't want. Some, you got fanatics who want to go start telling you where you did wrong, you know. Yeah, I, I think the mistakes are important. Yeah, I, I mean, when Randy Rhodes is alive, he'd, still, he would, he'd go fucking, you know what I mean? Slide the fingers up the key, uh, strings. It don't leave. You'd go fucking crazy if they took that up, cleaned it up. Right. Yeah. If you wanted to mute it or something, like in Diary or whatever. Yeah. Because yeah. he, was, as he was saying. Like, oh, muting the parts in between. Yeah. Like you know, let me just get rid of that string slide. Yeah. It was oh like, yeah. No, it sounds good, man. So, yeah. Hendrix is all over the place on some of his stuff. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, you can, it sounds like somebody's playing. When, yeah. when, when it's too polished, it's like 
you, you can honestly use trickery on stage. You can't get it out back. Yeah. But stage is different. Completely different to record anyway. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes it's cool, like, to think of your band the way you are on stage and put it in a recording studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, it's almost like rehearsals sometimes. I'm like, no, this yeah. is this. Why can't we make this the record? Yeah, yeah. rehearsal. But, you know, in the past, I've done, I've done like demo. I don't like demoing. You don't you, like it? When you no. demo, you can't. Sometimes you go, oh, that's cool. The magic's gone, man. I remember I remember when we did Mom, Mom, Coming Home. Yeah. We had demoed those, and I remember Oz, because we were all like, oh, my God. You know, after Oz, you sang on it. Just I remember the demo, and then we were constantly trying to recapture the, the, the performance demo. from the demo. You can get a similar thing. So we used to bounce from demos to, to the truck. On, on, was it Mama coming home? Yeah, it was Mama. I remember, I mean, you know, yeah, it was just like trying to recapture that you performance can't do when it, so we demoed it's like it. Capturing the atmosphere. Yeah, because it's yeah. brand new. We're excited to record it, and yeah. that's so just just. And I would used to laugh. I go, "Why are we demoing? Just do it for real." Yeah. Do it for real. I mean, yeah. you know, I went into a demo phase for a while. I really, I liked it because I'd be like, let's just do anything we want to do. And if we don't like it, we don't have to put it on the record. Because the demo. But, sometimes but then now I realize we should have done that and put it on the record. Yeah, the demos the are record, better. When the record comes out. Yeah, when the record comes out, oh, that's that's not Motley Crue. That's not Ozzy. you got to sound more like yourself. I go, well, it's me. It's what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we were talking but about that it's before. It's nothing like your last yeah. album. I'm, gl I'm glad. <laughs> if it was like the last album, it would be a fucking... You know, you, and, and I've had many arguments over it. I, I, I just sell the fucking record. I'll make them, you know. Yeah. Hey, when you first sang, Ozzy, like you have such a unique voice. The first mm. time you sang, was it with Sabbath? Uh, I had a couple of... Couple Little of like bands things. before. Did you know, like with your ear, because I know like a lot of the music that you grew up on, you love, <laughs> that you had like a unique voice? Did you, um, did, did you know I, it at that I time? I didn't really think about it. I was a Beatle freak. I still am. Yeah, and I but know that. I mean, my, Jax, my son, says to me, well, what was, well, I like the Beatles, but I don't see what, what you're on about. As you imagine this, going to bed in one world and waking up in a completely different... Exciting world. It was that's what I remember the exact. Re she loves you. I was like, what the fuck is this? You yeah. know, I was walking along with a transistor on my shoulder, thinking, oh, this is cool. I mean, I hear it in your melody lines. Oh yeah, I, I, I love melodies. it. Yeah. I mean, that, I, I went and went McCartney. Finally, I said, you know what? I always loved about you, Ben. You had the greatest melodies. And he says, yeah, but the fucking uh, the, the musicianship wasn't as uh, wasn't as good as today. He's a good, nice guy. Yeah, I've I've heard nothing but good stuff. He's really nice guy. I was kind of I was I was like kind of alluding a second ago to like early days, like those Sabbath videos. Like were they mostly like on on uh, TV shows? Yeah, German. Uh, all that stuff. Because I see it come, I'm like, wow, look at that! And they had the crazy special effects, you know, <laughs> yeah, totally. totally. zooming in and out. Oil lamp. <laughs> yeah, the oil lamps. <laughs> yeah, but I was just but, wondering. But that, but it was good. Thank God that is that because we didn't know we didn't it was no MTV back then. Yeah, that's why I was kind of asking. Because yeah, but it, but that one minute fucking thing going back and forwards was done in Holland and there's a, 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 a black and white one from, from Germany, but there wasn't that much. I mean, in England, they would, they, we did Top of the Pops. That yeah. was it. Must have been hard to get on TV. Yeah, oh, yeah. Then. But then we went, and what it was time to be around in the record business uh, when MTV started. Um, if you're on heavy rotation there, you were sailing the record sales. No, that was a that was a game changer. We did live wire from the first Motley Crue album for a couple thousand dollars, which is what it would cost now to yep. do it too. Yeah, and there was no MTV, and I, I think we just I don't even remember why we did it. It might have been for like a news agency or something. Mm -hmm. And there's like me lighting myself on fire and spitting blood. We're just being ridiculous. And kids. day at the house cleaning <laughs> up. <laughs> so day at the house. He was unwinding with. And then when MTV came and you picked us up, it was like combined you know that was like i miss i miss the mtv for for yeah, bands but the, like but us it became not mtv it's like a fucking political thing now yeah 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 no it's 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 lost its heart yeah but but the whole thing is i mean but it hasn't i mean if we if we ran mtv and we put a reality show on and the ratings are higher for the reality show sorry we're putting on what people want to watch yeah. if oh, they yeah. wanted to watch well, music videos the ratings would be higher. So what I'm just saying is that's, I mean, we're all musicians. So we, we you would hope that people want to tune in to see the, the music. Yeah. But if people are tuning in and we run MTV, we're the producers. It's like, I'm like, us, look at how much higher the ratings are when we put the TV show on. And you're like, mm. 
Well, the people have spoken. I guess they want more we of got, that. The Osborne's got uh, bar coming out of this. That's what I'm saying. So, I mean, if people want to see more of the reality shows, or what? I mean, if if people want to hear more rock songs at the time, I'm just saying when rock and roll was coming out, when you had big band and everything like that, and then all of a sudden we start playing rock videos, and all of a sudden all the kids are watching, all, the ratings go up when Elvis comes on and Jerry yeah. Lee Lewis and uh, Chuck uh, Berry, uh, uh, then that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, man. so don't take it personally. I said to, no. show, I said to my wife, not at all. What is it with these Kardashians? I don't understand it. She says, well, they have become very famous for doing nothing, just for being a family. And that's what the, the thing in, in America now, they all want to be celebrities without doing anything. Hmm. But, I mean, what a, what, I mean, it's incredible what they've done and lasted as long as they have. Mm. You feel like you have to be careful with, uh, with even scripted stuff, like with your... No, I don't know. I mean, this thing with Jagger is... is you just do what you want to do? Just what we, wherever it came out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, 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 there's limits now, because when we did the Osborne, if I, you know, you have to, people have to a pass us by you have to sign off on it. Now, everybody wants money. Yeah. You, you use a restaurant, they want paying for you to so go in there. Oh, right, sure. So it's, it's like, in this country, it's a business. Everything's, if it's a dollar yeah. to be made, yeah. someone will make it. Yeah. So it's like you're still, like, hammering it out after all these years. like, you gave me my shot, and then I retired, and then you're st- you're going out on tour. I'm like, well, it's what I, I mean. I, I, it's what I do. You maybe know? you need. Do you need a tech? I mean, well, I could, I could be the base a, tech. <laughs> I could be the base tech. <laughs> Carry <laughs> luggage. <laughs> so you, you you have another band, or you just yeah. Right now, I'm, I'm still doing it though. Yeah, but I you got, got my my other thing, but I just needed a break for a while. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure, yeah. I'll come back. You know, yeah. You know well, that's what you do, man. It's part yeah. of. I mean, who you so, are. So, uh, is this the retirement tour? No. Yeah. I I retired for about a fucking one. I thought, how can you retire from this? It's not a job. Yeah, I mean, you didn't you say you were going to retire once? No, oh uh, yeah, uh, when I was in the band, <laughs> yeah, I know more tours. And then oh, came yeah, right, no came more back as retirement sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I mean, it, 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 it's sold a few tickets, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, sure. But it's like, is it really? I go, hey, I, I, I'll be here till the fucking button lid on my box. You know, <laughs> it's what I do. You know, I've done it for forty nine years. Yeah. I don't know anything else. Yeah, yeah you don't want to know anything no. else. That's great. Pays well. And yeah. People are like people. Yeah. You know. So what's up with the record? Well, I've got a few ideas, but it's, it, it, I mean, it, it's got, not cost effective. You, you, you don't sell that many albums. You yeah, sell but, a few, but, but not, still, not the we, days of we selling need it. fucking millions is gone. I mean, it's not just that. I mean, it, it's a different what world. What about the joy, the art, the passion? <laughs> he makes a record every day. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, I, I think it would be a great idea. Like that's us, it, us, 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 got to be the right fa- album. Us fans would love it. I know, but it's got to be the right album because it's, it's got to be after this long. You don't need, Zach, you can get all those songwriters that write like all the alternative pop crossover stuff. No, no. <laughs> yeah, <be good. laughs> Zach would come down with a fucking flamethrower and uh, I, I, listen, just as, I, I'll deal with the choreography. <laughs> yeah, you got the choreography. We got the songwriters. Well, up and the <laughs> we need a stylist. I think we need a new image update. Zach, you <laughs> yeah. have a black label record coming out, right? Uh, look at, look yes, how she it's saved um, that. It's called Grimace Hits, and I told the record company the news is grim and there are no hits. <laughs> 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 You're very good on social media as well. I do have to say. I mean, it's always something new and something fresh. And well, you, you might as well have fun with it. Either Ozzy knocking me out, I go. He knocks me out all the time anyway. Right. So you might as well just film it. <laughs> right. I just wanted to give you props on your social media. It's beautiful. No, it, well, you know, I mean, we were talking about it before. The, the cool thing about the social media and everything like that is. If Black Sabbath never got a record deal back in the day, and they're this little band in Birmingham, by doing social media, putting posts of Sabbath playing out in the in the little town hall when you guys first started playing, and then play, now I could see it all the way from New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can go, Nick, you got to check out this band. The world Black is going. Mm-hmm. The world no, is going. No, but it's on. great. I'm just saying because back in the day, if you didn't get a record deal, I'm just saying Nick, when you guys. Got it. And I saw no the show. I know. saw you guys with Ozzy. I, I saw that tour yeah. at, in, at, at the Garden. I think or at the Spectrum yeah. in Philadelphia on the Shout of the Devil and the Bark of the Moon tour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the whole thing is this: if you didn't get a record deal in Motley Crue by the time you were thirty years old, oh, you're done. The dream is over. Yeah. Whereas I'm saying now, 
it would have been like, no, nah, we ain't quitting. And it's just like you're putting all this Motley Crue stuff out there. Everyone's like, dude, you got to check out this Motley Crue band. Yeah. I think you just uh, have to know you're your a own narcissist. boss. Whereas I'm saying back then you needed a record company. Now right, right, you could right. be your mm -hmm. own boss. And you can. And you can misspell stuff and just do it on the no, run. No, any and kids and, feel and it's young, real. I think the cool thing about it now is the dream ain't over. It, and the whole thing is if we have a blues but band. People, people get uh, Grammys, but not making them going to go straight from laptop to fucking. I don't know what, what it means. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do Instagram or anything. I'm fucking used to <laughs> I can't even write. <laughs> Unless he's knocking me out. That and would then, be you know, the best. Then it gives him a reason to do it. So I could steal another one. I go, Oz, I got to get back from the dentist. I just, I'm, <laughs> just had to get my jaw wide shut. But I think it's that. I think it's about not being a narcissist because because it like like with reality scripted TV since it's so much about just me 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 there's more to us than just that you know with with Twitter and Instagram Facebook you know it's about taking people on the journey I was like saying I was looking forward to your horn thing oh, I yeah. only know that because of, uh, of yeah, from Instagram. the social media yeah taking the piss all the time yeah but I mean exactly no but the whole thing is that's I just think it's great I'm watching TV one day and I'm watching these fucking I don't go. The fuck is this? And all these guys walking at me, horses' heads on. So I'm going, I go, I know that voice. <laughs> and it's this fucking, oh, I'm pissing myself laughing. Or <laughs> you seen no that sunshine video? with it's the horse so heads on and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Right. I'm right. like, it's got to be the boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so yeah. funny, man. I just shout out, Look at this. <laughs> horses. And you know, somebody used that at the same trick in an advert. Well, there you go. It works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you guys have a do you have a uh, LA show for the Ozfest? No, no, we're doing an aftershock. So that's coming up on Sunday. That's right? Sacramento, What's that? right? Bob, right in Sacramento. Yeah, that's San Bernardino, November fourth. San Bernardino. Okay, that's a drive, but yeah, he just went to San Bernardino. Oh, go that was his two-hour drive. Yes. We'll just Uber it. Yeah. yeah, if you guys could just come back here and do the you whole festival, that'd be great. Right, right around here for us, yeah. <laughs> no, I just want to see you guys play live. Th hey, thanks so much for coming and thanks, hanging Jay. out. It's been a long time. We make it quicker next time. Yeah. Come on, see you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Oh, it was All great right. seeing you, man. Without yeah. a doubt, Nick. <laughs> the